The invasion of Ukraine, which Russia launched with a big dreams, is on the verge of turning into major disaster for Russia. The Ukrainian army, which is giving Russian troops a hard time at many points on the front line, continues its counterattack without slowing down. There are very hot clashes on the front line. When we look at the latest reports, we can say that the Ukrainian army has tactical advantage in the most of the front line. So, what are the latest developments? Let's examine them together on the map. First, let's make our daily Bakhmut assessment. Ukrainian offensive in the north of Bakhmut remain active. There are local reports that the Ukrainian army has managed to repel the Russian army in several areas. If you look north of the Bakhmut, we see that several elements of the Ukrainian army are trying to encircle Bakhmut from different points. One of these points was Brkhivka, which has been on our agenda for days. We also see that the Ukrainian army has launched an offensive from two different points. One of these points is Yahidny. Yahidny is located about 12 kilometers from Bakhmut city center. As you can see, there is a highway east of the city, and this highway goes all the way to Bakhmut. The Russian army has the ability to maneuver quickly along this highway in the northern part of the front line. Therefore, it is vital for the Ukrainian army to prevent this. Thus, it aimed to limit the speed of the movement of the Russian army. About 10 km northwest of Yahidny is Orikhovo Vasilivka. In recent days, there have been very hot clashes between Ukrainian and Russian forces here. These clashes were bloody for both sides and the Ukrainian army emerged victorious. The blue area about Orekhivo Vasilivka has been liberated as a result of the Ukrainian offensive. The Russian trenches in the area were cleared and the Russian soldiers were replaced by the Ukrainian troops. Krasna Hora is the next target of the Ukrainian army, which continues its efforts to ensure a stable control in the region. Ukrainian troops are planning to advance from here to important points such as Krasna Hora and Soledar. The dominance to be achieved here is of a great importance for a successful completion of the Ukrainian army's counterattack. There are many positions of the Russian army at these points. In addition, towns like Kasna Hora and Soledar are psychological barriers. If the Russian army loses its dominance here, it will not only lose territory, it will also suffer a major psychological defeat. In addition, the fact that these points have highways leading to the southern line makes the region important. As you can see on the map, there are many useful supply lines in and around the two cities. We can say that this capture of these cities by the Ukraine will make it very difficult for the Russian army here. Local sources report that the situation of Russian troops in Bakhmut city center is worse than ever before. According to the latest information, the Russian army is planning to spend troops from other front lines to compensate for its losses in the Bakhmut line. Although these are still allegations, we can say that such a move by Russia is among the possibilities when we look at the Ukrainian army's advance in the region. Now let's move towards south of Bakhmut. We have shared with you in our previous reports that the city of Avdiivka was besieged by Russia for a long time but could not be captured. We can say that there has been increased military activity here in recent days. The Ukrainian army has established a formidable defense line in the region. In recent days, the Russian army has launched a series of attacks against the region. However, Ukrainian troops stationed in the region immediately responded to the attacks of the Russian army. The Russian army, which carried out limited offensive actions against the region, had to retreat with heavy losses. We can interpret the Russian attack here as an act of fear. Recently, the Ukrainian army announced that it would launch large-scale operations against the administrative borders of Donetsk city center. Let's take a look now. Donetsk city center is located about 20 kilometers to the south of the city of Ivdivka. We can assume that the Ukrainian operations in the region may start from Avdiivka. The majority of Ukrainian troops there are well-equipped soldiers. These fully equipped soldiers are also among the most elite units in Ukraine. Therefore, we can assume that Russia's attacks on Avdiivka are motivated by the fear of losing Donetsk. 
However, given the Ukrainian army's refusal to allow Russia access to the region, we can say that this fear will grow even more soon. Now let's move a little further south. In recent days, the Ukrainian army has made significant gains and progress in the Zaporizhia front line. Piatikhati was one of these points. The strategic importance of the region caused Russia to panic. The Russian army launched one attack after another against the region, but failed. The Ukrainian defense forces in the region did not let the Russian attacks pass. According to the latest reports from local sources, after taking Piatikhati, the Ukrainian army started preparations for the operation in the direction of Vasilivka. This plan on the same territory is of a great importance. If the Ukrainian army can advance to Vasilivka, it will gain an important base on the eastern bank of the Dnieper River. Thus, the Ukrainian army will gain control over the northern part of the Dnieper River. Allegedly, large aid packages are expected to arrive in this region very soon. The small town of Piatikhati has assumed a decisive role. Fighting continues south of Orekhiv, one of the key points of the Zaporizhia front line. Ukrainian forces, which have the advantage in the area, are waiting to build up their forces, while Russian troops are trying to prevent this. Now let's look at Robotny, south of Orekhiv. Since the Ukrainian army launched a counteroffensive, it had put a lot of pressure on this area. The Russian army has made series of small-scale attempts to break this pressure. The Russian attacks were successfully repulsed by the Ukrainian troops. In these attacks, the Russian army suffered heavy losses and had to retreat. The Russian army paid for these attacks by losing three tanks and one armored vehicle. The operations of the Ukrainian army on Zaporizhia front line continue simultaneously against the targets behind the front line. According to recent reports, Ukrainian artillery is targeting ammunition depots belonging to the Russian army. Hiroivka was one of these points. Recently, Ukrainian artillery blew up an ammunition depot here. Along with the ammunition depot, it was learned that a Russian unit with a high presence in the vicinity was also destroyed. Local sources say that the attack here had a very serious consequences. It is claimed that the loss at this point, which is very close to the front line, will make the Russian army's job even more hard. As you can see on the map, Heroivka is located about 13 kilometers from the Novo Donetsk, which is expected to fall into Ukrainian hands very soon. It is possible to say that the loss of ammunition in this area it will severely affect the Russian troops stationed along the entire Zaporizhia front line. What do you think? Do you think the Ukrainian army's Bakhmut operation has started on the larger scale? Is the counteroffensive progressing successfully so far? We value your opinion. Please share them with us.